<laughs> Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. And welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Yeah. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Y bienvenidos al, a la escuela, Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. So we want to welcome all of you that are joining us by audio, video. Thank you for joining us. Amen. God loves you and we love you. Yeah. So praise God. Anyway, I want to say thank you to the praise team. And we sang some songs, you know, and we were just worshiping God and, and praising God. And it was so good. Mm -hmm. Amen. You just get in his presence and all these things just melt off. Amen. We got to do this on a daily basis. Amen. As often as you can, you know, it's just spend time with him and yeah. give yourself a spiritual bath Amen. and wash off all the filth of the world. Yes. Amen. Because it's going to attach itself to you. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you hear these things, you see these things, and it's just going to grab you. Mm -hmm. Amen. The only thing that can, yes. that, that, can, that can make it come off is the Word of God. Amen. Uh -huh. His presence, you know. He says we walk by faith and not by fear. Right. If you're walking by fear, you need to spend some time with Him. Or you got to get saved, get born again. And says, Lord Jesus, I confess, my, I confess I've sinned against you. I confess and, and confess every sin. And I ask you to come be my Lord and Savior. Hey, that's the best present you can get this Christmas. Accept him as you Lord, as the gift. Yes. He's the greatest gift ever given. We need to receive a gift. You know, when somebody gives you a gift, you have to take it and make it yours. So, he's the greatest gift ever given, but you have to receive it. Yes. You have to confess him and receive him as your Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> so anyway. Yes. I just wanted to thank the praise and worship team because they did great. Amen. But you have to do something else. You have to partake and you have to get involved. Yes. Amen. If you don't get involved, you know, don't say, well, you know, the praise team wasn't good enough. <laughs> well, what about you? Did you, did, did you participate? Did you get involved? Yeah. Lord wants us to be involved in yes, everything. In, in, in everything. Yes. Amen. We're the body of Christ. We're the church. Amen. We want somewhere to happen yes. for somebody. Yes. You know, we're always waiting for somebody else to do it for us. Uh -huh. But what about you? Did you yeah. ever share Jesus with somebody? Did you ever tell somebody Jesus loves you? Yeah. You yeah. care for them. Or you Amen. just continue pushing people down. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot better to just lift them up than push yes, them down. Yes. Amen. Because the whole world yeah. does that all, already. already. So anyway, get it. Uh, Get full of Jesus. Oh, huh? yeah, I, don't, amen. I know I know why I got my Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Say it like you mean it, church. Amen. Okay. I don't know about you, but grab your Bible, grab something, wherever you are. Yes. Amen. This says this is my Bible. Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today yes. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in, in Jesus' name. name. Amen. It says your mind is alert. Don't be alert to just to what games is on today. <laughs> be alert to what the Word of God says. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Carmen, take me back to the last one again. I want everybody, those of you that are watching by uh, uh, video, <laughs> and those of you that are joining us by audio, I'm going to read this to you. Back one. There we go. <laughs> We have some slides for you. <laughs> and I want you to read this one. It says, Satan's greatest weapon is man's ignorance of God's word. Uh -huh. So, we don't want to get involved in this. And we don't want to help him out by That's just right. pretending right. to be Christians. Right. Only time we come out is uh, Easter, <laughs> Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Yeah, I'm a Christian. No. You got to be a Christian or whatever you call yourself, a believer, <laughs> every day, every day, yes, get involved and get the word of God in you. Because if you don't have <coughs> the word in you, guess what? If you go to the bank and ask them for money and they say, sorry, sir, sorry, ma'am, but you haven't deposited any money in here. We don't, we don't have no account for you. Well, guess what? You better have an account with him Amen. and get an account of the word yes. and go and make withdrawals That's and right. say, hey, the word is in me. And it's going to come out. It says, hey, I'm full. I'm so full. Out of my innermost being shall flow yeah. rivers of living water. Yeah. Yeah. That word is going to come out. But you know what? You got to get it out. And you got to speak it out. Yeah. Not just hold it in. Well, you know, <laughs> you ever walk away from somebody and says, Lord told me to say something. And I was too afraid to say it. Mm. Wow. Oh, and there's something, but we can cuss somebody out. Oh, boy. But we can't tell them what God told me to say. <laughs> I, we couldn't tell them a blessing God told right, them. Yeah. Just tell them I love them. Just tell them they're kind. Yeah. Just tell them something nice. God told you to say. And they'll say, no, 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 no. Mm. But you know, on the road, we can 
shoot the finger at each other, or we can just cuss each other, or we can cuss each other out in a, 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 out there where we meet, but we can't share Jesus. Are we hiding Christians? <laughs> Do we hide ourselves and come out on Sundays only? <laughs> We're going to get into this a few more. Yeah. A little more. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But let's not be pretenders. Amen. Because he knows us yeah. better than anybody else. Right. And you know what? He loves you the most. Even the way you are. He loves you the most. Amen. <laughs> so don't be ignorant of his word. The only one that uh, is on your side is the enemy. <laughs> yeah. Amen. He's, he's, he feels great that you don't know the word. Because mm -hmm. he's going to have you again. Yeah. And we again, we're going to be talking about this. Don't let this, don't close out this year defeated and open the next year doing the same things. Yeah, amen. You know, that's insanity. Mm -hmm. Doing the same thing over mm -hmm. and over and over yeah. and expecting different results. That's it. Well, what are you putting into it? Are you making changes? Mm -hmm. You need to make some changes. Yes. Amen. amen. You need to make some changes. You need to be involved. Woo! Hallelujah. I said a whole lot. Amen. Say amen to now. <laughs> we're, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> So welcome, welcome, welcome. As a matter of fact, uh, I think tomorrow is the first year, uh, first uh, day of uh, winter. Yes. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you know that we have seasons. God given us seasons, you know. Yes. But that's okay because He makes changes sure with seasons. Season. With yes. seasons, seasons brings changes, uh -huh. and we need to make changes also. Yeah. Okay, so we don't stay the same all the time. We want to make some changes, but we yeah. want to we want to grow and yeah. go for God. Amen. Yeah. Grow and go for God. If you don't have that, you can write it down. Grow and go for God. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Praise God. Let me see. I have something I want to reach you. Well, I've got a lot of things to share with you, but you know, I've told you this before. Don't just say, "Well, he don't he don't talk good. He don't sound good." <laughs> but guess what? God has given me a message for you. Are you willing to receive Amen. from God? Amen. He's using me. I, I'm his messenger. Uh -huh. Are you willing to receive what God has for you? Because Amen. if you're not, then you're wasting your time. Mm. Amen. Just come and sit in here or just come and sit in church, whatever building you go to and assemble yourselves at. That don't mean nothing. That ain't going to save you. Amen. It's, yeah. He's already saved you, but yeah. you got to receive it. Yeah. And make changes in your life so that you can go and grow for Him. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to continue. <laughs> I guess you could say this is part three of closing out the old and opening the new. Uh -huh. You know? And the Lord showed me this yesterday. It's very simple. You know, when you finish a chapter, reading a chapter in your book, you close that chapter and you start a new chapter. Yeah. Amen. And you just don't go back to the same. You keep going. Yeah. You know, when you go, when you want to go into a building, a house, your house, you open the door and you walk in. Yeah. And you close it behind you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to close this old year and open the new year. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it's all about opening and closing. Amen. Amen. And let me read this to you. I'll put this uh scripture break on uh, Facebook this morning mm -hmm. and it goes like this it says focus forward mm -hmm. don't look back on yesterday don't look back on the past <clears throat> so full of failures and regrets looking ahead and seeking God's way all sins confessed you must forget let go let the enemy the enemy will try to remind you that your sins are not forgiven he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Let go of the past mm -hmm. and move on. Yes. Past was a learning lesson, not a life sentence. Yes. Right. Focus on pleasing Christ mm -hmm. as we come to the end of this year. So often we look back and regret all on things we didn't accomplish. But sin is one thing we should never need to look back on. Mm -hmm. With feelings of failure. Mm -hmm. If we confess our sins and ask God's forgiveness... We need to focus forward and towards the goal of pleasing Him. Yes. Amen. So Amen. remember, if you confess it, He's going to forgive and forget. Yes. So we need to do the same thing. But the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Where does he attack the most? Mm -hmm. The battlefield is the mind. Yes. And he's going to let you know he didn't forgive you. 
Right. And the sin is going to come back over and over and over and over mm -hmm. until you say, delete. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's gone. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Now, that's our text. We're, the thing about it is, don't go there no more. Mm -hmm. let, it, let it go. Let it go. Amen. So we're going to read a little bit. And we're still talking about closing the old and opening the new. Church, receive God's word. Let it bless you. Let it change you. And let it encourage you. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what he wants to do. And he also wants to correct us. Mm -hmm. And know this. God loves you and we love you. So we start every day forgetting the past. Forgetting. <clears throat> excuse me. For, we start every day forgetting what's behind. Forgetting the past and forgetting yesterday's. Uh -huh. By rejoicing and being glad in this new day. This new beginning. This new year. We close the old chapter of 2020. Mm -hmm. And we're opening the new chapter mm -hmm. of 2021. Wow. Yes. Closing the door and opening the new door. And here's our text right here. <coughs> Let's read it again. <coughs> Excuse me. Philippians 1, chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. It says, Not that I already obtained all this or that or have already arrived at my goal but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me mm. it says 13 says brothers and sisters I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it but mm. one thing I do mm. forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead yeah. I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heaven and earth in Christ Jesus. This is the NIV. Yes. Did you notice how many eyes are up there? Oh. I. Mm -hmm. That's you. Mm -hmm. You have to do something. So you yeah. scratch that eye off <laughs> and yeah, you put I, I, your name on there. Yeah. Amen. And when you read this, put your name to it. Yeah. Okay? Put your name to it. Personalize your Bible. Write on your Bible. If you think your Bible is too pretty, then leave it there for somebody to take. <laughs> Amen. But you can scratch it up, you can highlight it, you can make changes to it. Yeah. And it, it's okay. Mm -hmm. So, did you notice all the eyes? Yes. I have to do something about this. Mm -hmm. I have to do something. Don't wait. <laughs> Don't go to brother, sister, so-and-so and say, you know, need your help or, or, or confess or ask for advice. <laughs> They've already living a defeated life. And you want advice from them? No. Six eyes. Six eyes? Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> There's six eyes there. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Seven. you. <clears throat> Seven. Because we go so, all the way to 14, right? Yes. Seven. <laughs> I wrote a note on myself that says, check all the eyes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there's quite a few eyes on there. I have to do something. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, don't worry about somebody else. I have to take care of this. Mm -hmm. I need to correct this. I need to change this. Amen. Before I go on. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. And Psalms 118, 24 says what? For this is the day the Lord has made. Uh -huh. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. So we got to change that. We got to yeah. press on and look forward to what's coming on ahead. This is a new day the Lord has given you. The main thing is, thank God for the miracle of waking you up. Yeah. He woke you up again. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Now I am going to rejoice and be glad in this new day he's given yeah. me. You have something to do. But then again, I'm going to spend time with him mm -hmm. to see what he wants me to do. Uh -huh. Amen. I know what I'm uh, what I'm going to do. And we're going to be reading this scripture in a few minutes. But it's uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 5.17. Uh -huh. It says what? Out with the old, in with the new. I'm a new creature in Christ. Creature. Amen. So I know that I'm a minister of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. And I go out into the world and bring people to Christ. Yeah. Let, pe let people know about Christ. You can do this. Yeah. Why? Because the Bible says you can do all things yeah. through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So I have something to do. Mm -hmm. Start every day praising Him. Mm -hmm. And praise Him. Thank you for this morning. <clears throat> so yeah. as I start to praise in Him, I spend time with Him. And I get my priorities in order. Yeah. Do you have priorities? What's your priorities? Yeah. What's your routine? Mm -hmm. hmm? You wake up. <laughs> And you start in the world right away. Mm. Turn the TV on. Turn the radio on. Turn the cell phone on. What is your routine? Mm -hmm. And what about Christ? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, excuse me. I forgot about Christ. Oh, my. Amen. So we have to be careful. Praise Him. Set your priorities right. Yes. Rejoice being glad on God's new given day. Uh -huh. Stay in, uh, uh, positive in a negative world. Yeah. If you don't know this world is negative, mm. we need to, you need to get born again. Yeah. You need to open your eyes because it's real negative. It's all you hear is bad, 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 yeah. bad news. And we have the good news in us. And we're to bring the good news to the world. Amen. It's in you. But you know what? It's not going to jump from you to them. You have to speak it out. And you have yeah. to say something. Amen. You have to say something. Yes. And we're to get up and start every day with a winning attitude. A grateful attitude. Thank you, Lord. Uh -huh. You say thank you. You don't know what else to say, but thank you. Amen. Always on a drive mode. Those of you love driving. Or some of you have to drive to work every day. Drive mode. Moving forward. Never idle. And never just neutral. Mm -hmm. You got to move on. Yeah. We got to move on. Hey, the past is behind us. Yeah. Why? Because we're moving on. Mm -hmm. We're not going backwards. We're going forward. Amen. 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 Hot for God. <laughs> hot to try. Amen. <laughs> Amen. No lukewarm and no cold. Mm -hmm. But hot for God. There you go. I can do all things through Christ. Here's another I. Jose. Scratch your eye. Jose can do everything through him who gives me strength. Yes. Philippians 4.13, the NIV. King James says, I can do I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You need some strength? Well, you go to him. He'll give you the strength. He says, yeah. the joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm -hmm. So why come with a joy? You know, people want to know, yes. why are you smiling? Oh. Why are you so joyful? Because I have a joyful God. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Keep going. <clears throat> Some of these we're reviewing. Faith is the courage to let go and let God. Let Him have control. Uh -huh. You know His government, He's trying to hold on to you. <laughs> he's trying to control you, so you be careful wow. how this world is controlling you. Mm -hmm. And let God have control. Mm -hmm. Amen. I let God have control of me. Amen. I go to Him. Say, Lord, you, you're my Lord, you're my Savior. Mm -hmm. And you have control of my life. Why? Because he gave it to me. Mm -hmm. And he called me, he equipped me to go out and be on this mission and fulfill yeah. what mission he's given me. Yeah. And same, same thing with you. Amen? Mm -hmm. So I have faith and the courage to let go and let God. You know, we want to stay on the throne too long. Yeah. We gotta step off the throne, get off yeah. the throne, yes. and yes. put him on the throne. Amen. And when you renew your mind to the things of God with the word of God, mm -hmm. then you know <laughs> I need to step down so he can mm -hmm. sit. And he's all he's sitting. Yeah. Just like he's sitting in heaven. Mm -hmm. He says the right hand of the Father, a mm -hmm. place of authority, yeah. interceding for us. Amen. Amen. He's praying for you. Amen. So if you don't feel that, it's probably because you walked away. Yeah. Not because he walked away. Right. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Yeah. He's always with you. Mm -hmm. If you feel cold, it's because no. you walked away. Mm -hmm. And you need to get close. Mm -hmm. Turn around and come back to Father. Amen. Amen. Keep going. Well, I thought I'd throw this in there. <laughs> it says God is the God of the second chance, the third chance, the fourth chance. I didn't put that on there. But he's the God of where, how many chances it takes you. But he's a God of the second chance, a fresh start, and a new beginning. Yeah. Amen. You know, you can go to him and say, hey, Lord, I failed you. Mm -hmm. We're ending this year, but I want to start the next mm -hmm. year with you. I want to start the next day with you. So I confess my sins. I repent. I come yes. to you. I receive you as my gift. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. You start a new day, a new beginning. And you know you leave your past behind because the enemy is going to bring it up. Mm -hmm. Your friends going to bring it up. Your family's going to bring it up. We know you. They're going to treat you that way. Say, no, I'm a new child. I'm a new Christian. Mm -hmm. I'm a new child of God. Hey, the yeah. old is out. The new is yeah. in. Yeah. Amen. Come on now. Yeah. So we learned a few things. It says lessons we learned from the Apostle Paul. The first thing was we all have an imperfect past. Yeah. All of us. If it, I've, I've said this before, but if you notice, all the Bible heroes we call Bible heroes has sin in, in their lives. Yes, mm -hmm. But God used them. Yes, he did. Amen. He used them. So 
Don't let sin, don't let people, don't let this world hold you back. That's right. Lord, I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. Whatever mission you put me on, whatever it is that you want me to do, mm -hmm. I'll do it for you. Big or small, it don't matter. I want to do it for you. Amen. And press on and do those things that he's called you to do. Yes. So, we all have an imperfect uh, past. Number two was, don't be a prisoner of your past. It was just a, le a, a, a lesson, not a life sentence. Here we go. When people bring up your past, mm -hmm. tell them, Jesus dropped the charges. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Don't get tired of saying that. <laughs> Don't get tired of saying that. You know what I'm saying? People is going to hold it against you. Yes, they will. Over and over and mm -hmm. over. I don't care how many times. Or, you know, they've gotten over it, and, you know, they get a few drinks in them, and they'll bring it back. <laughs> or they get a little mad at you, and they'll bring it back. It comes up. It's yeah. in there. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. But you know what? I'll tell you the same thing. Jesus dropped the charges. Yes. So I'm pressing on. I've changed. You haven't. Yeah. You know, you need a Savior. Yeah. <laughs> and you need, you need to confess Him as your Savior. Uh -huh. And you need to press on. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to hang out in the past with you. I'm, pre I'm pressing on. And I'm going to pray for you. And I love you in His name. But I'm not going to hang out in the past. Amen. I'm going to press on. Keep going. <laughs> charges <laughs> dropped. <laughs> Here we go. This scripture I was telling you about, Saint Corinthians five seventeen yes. says, "This is like, again the NIV says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come; the old has gone; the new is here." So you are a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> I'm a creature of God. <laughs> He's yes. created me. Yes. He loves me. Amen. But the old is out, the new is in. Yes. So let's uh -huh. remember that, and don't let the enemy people. This will yeah. hold you down. That's amen. True. And stop you because of what happened in the past. Uh -huh. No. It's over. It's oh, past. Yeah. It's gone. Charges have been yeah. dropped. Remember that. Yes. Yeah. We don't have to get upset about it. I'll be happy and let you know. <laughs> amen. Uh -huh. He's forgiven me. And he's forgotten about it, but you haven't. Yeah. So you got a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep going. And do not be conformed to this world, uh -huh. but be what? Be transformed, transformed. by the renewing yes. of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable okay. and perfect will of God. Second, I mean, excuse me, Romans 12 and 2. So it's up to us yeah. to renew our minds with the word of God. Amen. We feed our spirit, man. Remember, yeah. I've, tell, I've told you, we are tri-beings. Yeah. Okay? We have a spirit. We have a soul, which is your mind, will, and emotions, and you have a body, a yeah. physical body. <laughs> so we feed our spirit, man, the Word of God. Yeah. We renew our minds with the Word of God yeah. because the enemy, that, that, that mind is the battlefield. Yeah. Enemy brings thoughts. Mm -hmm. People bring things to you. Yeah. And, 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 and you remember... Oh, you remember the past. You remember sin. You remember whatever. But you know what? You need to renew your mind with the Word of God. Uh -huh. When you renew your mind with the Word of God, you can press on and yeah. just leave it behind. Amen? Remember, uh, Satan's greatest weapon mm -hmm. is ignorance. Us being ignorant of God's Word. Yes. So, use your mind. Yes. Use, use the Word. Amen? Amen. <laughs> and... I also told you, renew your mind with the Word of God. But also, says, crucify your flesh. Because uh -huh. your flesh wants to take it easy. Yeah. Amen. We're going there a little more in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Paul says, I've done the worst. Sound familiar? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's no way God could ever use me. You ever heard that? Mm -hmm. Sounds familiar? No way God could ever use me. Yeah. And you've said it over and over and over and over. And people have said it to you. Yeah, I know. I understand. You know what? I agree with you. <laughs> God can never use you. And you got jealous people to come to you and say, oh, yeah. God will never use you because of what, you, what you've done and what you've been yeah. and your past. God will never use you. But it's wrong. But you need to know the truth so it can set you free Amen. and not believe the way they're believing yeah. God's not looking for perfect, sinless Christians. Yeah, He's God. looking for available Christians. Yeah. Are you an available Christian? Mm -hmm. When he comes a knocking, mm -hmm. do you not answer the call? 
<laughs> no one's home. He already knows this. He knows your heart. <laughs> but answer the call. Amen. Amen. He wants people available. He didn't say, are you qualified? If you, if, if you like the world, you're unqualified for anything the world calls you to do. But you're qualified to do what God has called you to do. Because he's already qualified you. So see yourself that way. You're qualified by him. So be a God pleaser, not a man a world pleaser. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so be, be available. Amen. If you haven't wrote this down, you need to write this down. Just review it. Sin takes you further than you want to go. Uh -huh. Keeps you longer than you want to stay. Yeah. And costs you more yeah. than you want to pay. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and you know, the enemy... As long as you're in sin, enemy's not going to bother you. That's it. Until you try to get out. Mm -hmm. Right. Then he's going to give you hell. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? This place, this earth is hell without God. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Amen. So pray for, for this world. Mm -hmm. Pray for us. Amen. <laughs> yes. So praise God. Number three is pressing on to greater things with him. Yes. Okay. So young, old, it doesn't matter, big or small. Mm -hmm. You're pressing on with Him. Yes, He's called you. Whether you're old or young, still, you want to answer the call mm -hmm. and be available for, for to fulfill what He's called you to do. Age has no limit when you're serving Him. You understand? You can be home now, and you can make calls and reach people mm -hmm. and let people let people know God loves them because they're so. Uh, con concern with care. Mm -hmm. There's just too much negative stuff going on. Yeah. Too much fear going on. Mm -hmm. So you can call them and say, hey, God loves you. I'm praying for you. I'm thinking about you. And I'm praying for you. You don't have to go out the door. You can just call. We use our cell phones for everything else. Mm -hmm. Call somebody and let them know God loves them. Yeah, yeah. Same, Amen. They say, you know what? Hey, you know when you say... I have I had you in my heart mm -hmm. means in your spirit. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about you in my spirit. Lord puts you in my spirit and I just want to let you know I'm praying for you. Yeah. And everything's going to be okay. You know, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. He wants you to know you're a winner. You're a champion. You can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's the way he sees you. You see yourself that way. Amen. Start seeing Amen. yourself the way he sees you, yeah. not the way the world says. That's right. Number four is pressing on every day, being stirred up, being uh, staying hot for God, <laughs> hot for God. Amen. <laughs> hungry for for God, hungry for the Word. Yes. Amen. Amen. No place, no room for lukewarm. Amen. Easy, comfy, mm -hmm. nice, unchanged, same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same, same. <laughs> Paul says uh, in Philippians 3, 13, says, I press on. Yes. So we need to press on daily. Amen. Well, you know what? Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day. Hey, tomorrow's Monday. I'll press on Monday. Monday comes and say, oh, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Monday's bad. Tuesday's bad. Thursday's bad. Friday. Hey, thank God. Yeah. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. I'm ready. No, on a daily basis. On a daily basis. Press on. New day, new year, new job, new assignment, new task, new beginning. It's okay. People are going to look down on you. People are going to be against you. But still, these are people that don't want to make change in their lives. You press on. Amen? Amen. My daily Christian walk is overcoming giant cares, giant problems, giant anxieties, giant financial debts, giant storms of life, or whatever your battle is. But you can overcome that. Yeah. Amen. Know that. And all this takes is relationship. Relationship with Him. Amen. When you know relationship, you know the Word, all this is gone. Amen. <laughs> Well, praise God, we Amen. pass on, we press on to new things and leave the past behind. Okay, we're coming here. My goal is 
worth the effort. Mm. Heaven is worth the effort. Mm. What's my goal? Mm. Amen. Is heaven your 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 goal? Yes. <laughs> doing God's will, doing God's ways, your goal? Yes. Amen. And I gave you a couple of scriptures. Colossians 3, write these down. Colossians 3, 23 and 24. New King James says, And whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. Yes. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive a reward Amen. of the inheritance for those who serve the Lord. Yeah. Why? Because you serve the Lord. Yeah. When you're doing it unto Him, when you're doing it unto Him, you're not concerned about what people will say. Mm -hmm. Or if they're going to say, hey, great. Yeah. No, I'm satisfied already because mm -hmm. I did it unto Him. Yeah. Regardless of what people say. In Hebrews 6 10, it says, God always does what is right. He will not forget the work you did to help the Christians yeah. <laughs> and the work you are still doing to help yeah. them. This shows your love for God. Amen. It shows your heart. It shows your spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. So our focus is staying focused, staying hungry, staying on fire for Him. Yeah. You're the winner. You're the champion. You're the overcomer. Amen. You can do all things through Christ. All things. But you got to remind yourself these things because the world's going to put you down. The world's going to pull you down. Okay, so here we go. I also told you last week, I told you the story about the retiring carpenter. Mm. What are you retiring from? Mm. Amen. The carpenter was retiring, and he told his, his boss, and the boss says, you know, do me one more favor. Build me one more house. Mm. And he says, oh, okay. But his friends told him, <laughs> you know, how dare he does this to you. Mm. And he got a bad feedback from the, from the friends mm -hmm. and he started feeling bad and he got a bad attitude so he went and used cheap materials mm -hmm. he went and used all kind of cheap stuff you know as cheap designs cheap furnishers and he finished come tell the boss I'm done and the boss looked at him and says okay thank you he says here's the keys to your new house mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be in that. We don't want to be there. Some of us have, but it's time to change. You know, he built him an ugly house, a cheap house, because he wanted to give to his boss and what he heard from his friends. Whose friends are you listening to? What friends are you listening to? So you got to be careful. Amen. So he built himself a cheap house because. <laughs> He was listening to the wrong people and he had a bad attitude about it. So, this could be us. So, yes. you don't want to settle for less. Okay, here we go. Many have lukewarm relationships with Jesus. <laughs> Come on, hey. <laughs> no desire to live or to do anything for him, just one of these. Yeah. Want to be comfy? Bury your talents mm -hmm. instead of using them for him. One day you'll stand before him. <coughs> yeah. yeah, you'll stand before him one day. And you're going to ask, he's going to ask you, what did you do with the gifts I gave you? Exactly. And you're going to say, I didn't know I had any gifts. Mm. And he says, well, you never had relationship with me. You never asked me. Mm. You know, those things that you enjoy doing mm -hmm. are some gifts that I put in you. Right, amen. But, you never had relationship with me. But you know, the worst things, the worst words that you can hear is, is when he tells you, depart from yes, me. That's correct. That's the worst thing you can hear, is depart from me. I never knew you. I wanted to make touch with you. I want to have a relationship with you, but you never met. You, ne you never made an effort to have a relationship yeah. with me. Come on now, somebody. Yeah, yeah. That's for somebody there. <laughs> Get it. Get it, get it, get it. Uh, yeah. It's never too late. Yeah, really. They see the work, the circumstances first before they see him. Mm -hmm. It's all about self. Yeah. Amen. It's all about me. I'm on the throne. You can't tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is me. Mm -hmm. I'm the king of the mountain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you don't see the prize. You don't see the gold. You don't see the blessing. Mm -hmm. Always wants it to be nice, nice and easy. Mm -hmm. And I'm always too busy. Oh Amen. You can't tell me. Change your ways. Change your mindsets. <laughs> renew your mind. Yeah. He was sacrificed for us. He took our place. 
took what we deserve yes. and said, Father, forgive them. Yeah. Do not count it against mm -hmm. them. Yes. Isn't that amazing? That's another God. That's another Jesus. Yes. Says, Father, don't charge this mm -hmm. to them. Just forgive them. They don't know what they do. Wow. They had a choice. Barabbas or Jesus. And they chose Barabbas, yeah. a murderer, mm -hmm. <laughs> over Jesus. And they took Jesus and sacrificed him. Amen. But before they sacrificed him, and before he gave himself their father, he told the father, don't hold this against them. Yeah. Forgive them. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you've been forgiven. So why are you still mm -hmm. holding on to it? Yes. Let it go. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank Listen, you. people will put a picture of a, uh, of a car, a boat, or something they really want on the fridge, mm -hmm. on somewhat, or on a room, or in a room, <clears throat> and they'll work, and they'll work, and they'll work, putting all they can, overtime they can into it, mm -hmm. and getting it. Yeah. Working early, working late savings and sacrifices so that they can get the car, the boat, or whatever. Uh -huh. But true. they won't do it for, mm. to draw closer to God. Mm. That's true. They'll sacrifice to get things, mm. but they won't sacrifice to get closer to the one that can give you the things. Yeah. Remember, he's the blessor. Yes. He'll yes. bless you with things, yes. but don't be overtaken by the things. That's right. Amen. Be overtaken by the one is blessing you. Amen. <laughs> praise God, praise God, praise God. They won't do that for Christ. He's the one that paid it all. Never going to church or volunteering for anything. Always late for church. Never, But never late for work. Yes. Come on now. You still love pastor? <laughs> make him, never making time for fellowship with him. No relationship. Mm -hmm. They'll work mm -hmm. for whatever. Mm -hmm. But not for something that's going to help their spirit or their soul. Mm -hmm. They can't see. They can't see it. Paul said everything I've done, accomplished in this life, is worth what I've gained through yes. knowing Christ yes. and serving Him. Sometimes yeah. we all fall. We all fail to see the value of knowing and serving Christ. Come on. Right. Amen. Amen. I'll be closing here. Sometimes we all fail to see the value of knowing and serving Christ. Lord, help us to see the price, the goal yes. is worth the effort. Oh, Amen. Amen. Jesus. Let me see what, what else we got, Carmen. Be anxious for nothing. You know, you have all these cares, all these anxieties hitting you right now with the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, all these things. And if you hold on to them, it's going to drive you crazy. Amen. Amen. But he says... Cast it on him. Give it to him. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Okay. Let your requests be made known to God. Yes. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 4 through 8, uh, 6 through 8. New yeah. King James. Keep going. I've got a few in here. Here we go. Don't let anyone or anything mm -hmm. get in the way of your relationship with God. Amen. Yeah. The enemy and the world is going to see to it mm -hmm. that you have distractions. Yeah. And they're going to see to it all the time. Uh -huh. It's up to you to stop it. Yes. Look at this one. Keep going. A true relationship is someone who accepts your past, supports your presence, loves you, and encourages your future. Amen. Christ loves you. So true. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's concerned about your future. Yeah. Amen. He wants you to succeed and not fail. Yeah. Keep going. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep going. Mm. No looking back. Looking forward only. Mm. Keep going. <laughs> Here we go. Never be the prisoner of your past. Uh -huh. It was just a lesson, not a life sentence. Yes. And the enemy's going to attack the mind. And he's going to attack the mind and let you know. And you're going to become a prisoner. Go to the next one. Don't waste your time looking back on what you've uh, lost. Move on. Your life is not meant to be uh, traveled backwards. Keep going. Here we go. The hardest prison to escape 
is the one in your mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The battlefield is mm -hmm. the mind. You got to renew your mind with the Word of God. If yeah. you don't renew your mind with the Word of God, mm -hmm. you're going to have some problems. Yeah. Amen. It's telling us where the battlefield is. Mm -hmm. It's the mind. The battlefield of the mind. Yes. Keep going, Tony. There we go. We're to the end. But Satan's greatest weapon is man ignorance of God's word. Mm -hmm. And he's going to see to it these distractions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for pastor. <laughs> Football games. Oh, sports. <laughs> Whatever else distracts you. Mm -hmm. He's going to see to it that it comes your way. Yep. You've got to control it. Or it's going to control you. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful. Amen. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things all through things. Christ. I'm done for now. Amen. 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 <laughs> Just remember, church, we got to stay hot, step up to a whole new level yes. daily. And there's a new cut, new new uh, new year coming. Oh, yeah. Have a relationship with Christ and mm -hmm. seek Him. Mm -hmm. Have a relationship with others. Let Christ be your role model on a daily basis. Yes. Excel in Him on a daily basis. Remember, yes. You're the closest. <laughs> you could write this down. Mm -hmm. You're the closest thing to a Bible some will ever read mm -hmm. or come close to. Yeah. Some may never come to your church building. Mm -hmm. Some may never step in your church, but you are the church, mm -hmm. not this building. Right. Are you the closest thing? to the Bible, some people come close to, mm -hmm. and you never said a word. Mm -hmm. You never spoke, and you never shared. When God told you, say something. Right. Mm -hmm. You gotta open your mouth and speak and release the word of God, amen? amen. So, church be encouraged, forget the uh, past, press on as a servant for Christ on a daily basis, yes. amen. amen? So don't close out this year or open the next year being the same old, same old mm. after you've done in the past. Yeah. Remember, <laughs> back to the same old and same old is insanity. Mm. Doing the same same thing, expecting different results. Mm -hmm. Saint Corinthians uh, five seventeen says, Let go, let the old go and let the new in. Yes. Christ. Amen. 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 On a daily basis. Amen. So close out year twenty twenty. Yeah. And open up year 2021, yeah. giving your best uh -huh. in your walk with Christ and serving Him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. I don't know about you, but I receive it. I need yeah. to apply it to my life on a daily basis. Yeah. Because the Bible says I can do all things to Christ. Amen. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Be a part-time, listen, <laughs> part-time believers or Christian, whatever you call yourself, cannot defeat a full-time devil. Right. Serving Him. <laughs> As the original he created you to be. Yes. And the gifts he's placed in you. Uh -huh. And called you to be. And not be a pretender. Yeah. Don't be a part time Christian. Who demands a full time God. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Don't be a part time Christian. Demanding a full time God. Yeah. Hey I can snap my fingers. He's got to be there for me anytime I want him. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't be that way. Amen. He wants full time custody. Not just weekend visits. Amen. Amen. Oh, you know, I, mean, I just visit you. When I get in trouble, I'll come to you. Mm -hmm. And any other time, just stay away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care about the other time. Just when I need to go against the full time devil, mm -hmm. God does not take breaks. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't either. That's it. And uh, I wrote this, and uh, excuse my, uh, my grammar here, but uh, there's no this. I know what word to use. That's okay. I'll confess it to you. There's no disobedience. Mm -hmm. There's no uh, disunity in the evil ranks, mm -hmm. in Satan's ranks. But there's disobedience in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. We need to bring this to order. Amen. I can do something about it. Yes. I need to fix me. Mm -hmm. Because we need to come together as a body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, he cast out <laughs> the man that came running to him. He said, what's your name? He said, my name is Legion because we are many. Mm -hmm. He cast that devil out of him. 
And he says there was 2,000 in it. And they was all together. So they was working in unity. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we got to be careful. We need to be in unity also mm -hmm. as a body of Christ. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Anyway, I'll just leave it there. I'll close it there. And uh, we thank you, some of you. Like I said, uh, this is, uh, if you never accepted Christ, this is the time. Mm -hmm. To just says, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Yes. This is the greatest gift you can give. Or you can receive this. Receive him as your gift. Yes. For Christmas. Amen? Amen. It's Christmas. You know, next week is the Christmas message. And let you know that Christmas, Christ Christmas, is <laughs> because of Christ. Yeah. Amen? And that's why we celebrate Christmas. Because of Christ. Mm -hmm. Not because of the presence. The greatest present ever. Mm -hmm. The greatest present ever given was not put under a tree. It was put on a tree. Mm -hmm. Amen. So remember that. And uh, receive him and start making changes in your life. Amen. We get the word in you and start making changes in your life. Because you can do all things through Christ. Amen. Also, if, uh, if you have hurt, if you need a touch of God, if you need a healing in your body, just place, place your hand right there where you need that healing. Yes. And just say, you know, the Bible says, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. You're healed. So receive your healing by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Don't disqualify yourself. Know that he wants to heal you. Amen. Yeah. You are healed. You just got to receive it. Amen. <clears throat> Praise God. <clears throat> and if you're ready to give. Amen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the Bible tells us. <laughs> well, if you're ready to give, those of you watching, those of you listening, give your tithe, your offerings, you still can. Just go to our website, NBC Big Ben, uh, NBCBigBen.com, and hit the donate button. If you're mailing, NBC, PO Box 252, uh, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And we just want to say, God loves you and we love you and thank you. God bless you. Amen.